Bom dia, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi Taihudu, and yes, I am the guy that four years ago went all into Bitcoin after selling his house with his family, started traveling the world, huddling Bitcoins all over the world, now coming to you guys from Lagos in Portugal. Today, I will make a short video. I will try to keep it below 12 minutes as I have a very busy day. So talking about Bitcoin, really cool job blockchain really cool news and live a little bit live news enjoy today's episode guys BAM Let's get on with it. The first news is the TA part, the part where I bomb you with really cool charts. This is the TA part. Bam! In the TA part, let's start with this chart. This chart is showing you, bam, on this chart you can see a multi-year low for both Ethereum and Bitcoin on exchanges. People are extracting their Bitcoins from exchanges, not huddling on the exchange, but huddling on their hardware wallets like they should do, not your keys, not your Bitcoins. So people learned a lot in the last couple of years and you can see this. There is not many Bitcoins held on exchanges. We are seeing a multi-year low. The people are trusting Bitcoin and Ethereum to go way higher than this. That is what you read when you see this. People have full trust in Bitcoin and Ethereum and they don't expect us to drop. That is why you withdraw your Bitcoins from the exchange. Because you think the next couple of months we see a bull run and then at the end of this bull run, those same people will be putting back their Bitcoins and Ethereum on the exchanges to sell them for profit. That is a really cool fact and chart. Bam! The reason for this, guys, it is windy, I'm on the beach almost. The reason for this is that the DeFi and the institutional investors, they don't use the exchanges. The lot, a lot of people use DeFi to stake their Bitcoins or their wrapped Bitcoins or their Ethereum. And a lot of institutional investors just buy Bitcoins and hold them on a cold storage wallet like a hardware wallet. You can see this also in the charts because I just showed you that there was a multi-year low in the huddle part of Bitcoin and Ethereum on the exchanges. But on the other hand, you can see this chart, bam, on this chart, you can see a tremendous growth of DeFi. So yes, Ethereum, Bitcoin flowing off the exchanges, flowing into DeFi as red Bitcoin or Ethereum, and people are staking their currencies there to or get a loan or to get rewards for the staking. Really cool news. Bam! And another very cool fact is that yes, we are seeing Google all-time highs in search for Bitcoin, in search for Ethereum, in search on how to buy crypto. Check this chart. Bam! On this chart, you can see that we're speaking in Bitcoin searching, in Ethereum searching, and also searching by crypto. This is huge because when people are starting to search Google and we see all time highs in these search results on Google, this means that a lot of people are now searching how to buy. This means they didn't buy yet. They are searching now to buy. And that is what will happen now next. When Bitcoin will go up, FOMO will kick in and people will start to buy. I will put on a face mask, um, not on my face, but on the camera. Maybe I can prevent the wind a little bit from disturbing this video. But guys, that is a disadvantage on vlogging on the beach. It is a windy, cloudy day again in Lagos. It's like the third day in a row. Please let the sun start shining again. Don't talk so much. You need to make a short video. Bam! I will film a little bit closer. Maybe then like the light becomes better. Um, the next chart I want to share with you guys is the Bam Bam slash TikTok chart today. Check this one. It's a combination of both of the indicators. Bam, TikTok, bam. <laughs> I sound like a magician, don't I? Keep repeating the same joke every day again, Didi. Maybe people will laugh at the end. Um, <laughs> this chart, you can see 
the Diddy Bam Bam indicator and on the bottom you can see also the TikTok indicator. I combined those two indicators on this chart so you can see you can also use them together to analyze the chart and to take and make your trades. We traded with $350 with a leverage of 10 and you can see the moments we took the trades you can see the green arrows giving the indication when we took the trades and when we exited the trades. Check the green arrows down below on the Bam Bam indicator, but also on the TikTok indicator so you understand why we entered and why we exited those trades. First trade, guys, was a long. It was a long of 2.9% with a leverage of 10, making it 29% profit, turning 350 US dollar into 450 US dollar. The second trade was a very flat short. It was only a short with 1% difference times the leverage of 10 is 11%. So 450 US dollar turned into around 500 US dollar. Then again, the third trade was a long. It was a long of 2.4% and that's with a leverage of 10, 24%. So we ended up with 620 US dollar. We started with 350 US dollar. We ended up with 620 US dollar. So that was a $250 profit in three trades where I combined the indicators of the TikTok and the Didi Bam Bam indicator. If you want to know more about the Bam Bam indicator or the TikTok indicator, please visit DidiBam.com or DidiBam.com slash TikTok, both with a capital T, dot HTML, or just click down below this video on the link of the indicator that you want to know more of or just visit the discord server where we will talk with you about bitcoin blockchain and life every day and again and where a lot of people that signed up to the tiktok and the bam bam indicator are daily sharing the results and sharing their experience so you can ask them before you buy it because you always need to do your own research if we want to take a look at the Bitcoin charts, let's take a look at the chart that I've been sharing the last two weeks because I find it really important. This one, bam, the four hour chart. Like we said, we would break out out of this flag pattern. You can remember this green line going up all the way to 50K. Look what is happening today. We finally broke out. We retested the top line of the flag and we are going upwards almost in the same direction as this green line. Yes, I posted the green line a little bit too early. It should have been two centimeters to the right, but you can see the direction. That is the direction you expect from a breakout out of bullish flag pattern. So really cool. Now let's see how high we can take it. Can we take it all the way up to 40K, 45K and even 50K because that was the length of the bull flag pull and we should break out with the same length as the pull at the left side on the chart at the left side on the chart now upwards <sighs> hopefully we will reach 50k very soon really cool number for a lot of memes and all that stuff 50k btc bam guys it is too windy i need to walk the other side um it's very windy hopefully the sound is a little bit good on this video and else okay i made a, a not that good video for the first time in like one year time oh yeah did I tell you? We already have 1 million views. It was already a few weeks ago. I need to check how many views we have at the moment. Hopefully we have a lot of views and hopefully this one with the bad sound is not going to disturb the increase of views we see every day. The next part of the video is the news part. The part where I talk about the news that I already read this morning before I brought my big friend. Yeah, he's huge. He's almost two meters. Jim. A Dutch guy who I spent three months with here in Lagos, Portugal. We met here, we started to hang out, we had a lot of same passions like Bacardi Coke, that was it, and we had a lot of fun and uh, he left sadly today to Holland because he needs to pick up his job. In the summer he's running some beach clubs over there in the Dutch beach scene. So ah, Jim, if you see this video, thanks for all the time we spent together man thanks for all the help thanks for all the chats thanks for all the drinking nights thanks for all the barbecue nights thanks for all the dutch stupid humor that we always have as dutchies thank you for having me as a friend here in lagos you will be in my heart for always i will never forget the time we spent here and maybe we see each other next time again here in lagos portugal bam and now we can definitely jump into the blockchain news part this part bam 
the first news of today ethereum new all-time high yeah i think 1550 or even 1570 us dollar already for an ethereum that is a new all-time high like i said a couple of days ago and a week ago i think we will see 2k ethereum very soon that is why i added some ethereum to my portfolio two or three days ago when we were still in this dip to 1100 us dollar and i think we will reach 2k very soon in my opinion because it's very bullish news the DeFi industry is growing more and more institutional investors also see the power of ethereum and start to diversify their crypto portfolio from bitcoin also a little bit into ethereum so yes 2k ethereum easy peasy easy peasy bam by the way 2.5 million ethereums are locked up in the DeFi industry 2.5 million ethereums already locked up in the DeFi industry that's a really big number and i think it's going to grow way more bigger in the next couple of months yes i need to play with the camera because the dji is a little bit darkish today i don't know what is wrong with the thing come on man stay stay like light bring us the light in total guys the market cap at the moment is 1.09 trillion us dollar and the bitcoin dominance is 62 percent so a huge trillion dollar market cap and over the 600 billion us dollar is done by bitcoin is this market cap going to grow that is your question yes yes of course it's going to grow tremendously because microstrategy started their bitcoin boot camp today their Bitcoin bootcamp plan giveaway or whatever you will call it today and 1400 1400 1400 CEOs of all big companies all over the world signed up for this micro strategy Bitcoin bootcamp CEOs after today and tomorrow will be educated about Bitcoin and will be thinking about investing a part of their assets of their company of their reserve assets of their company into bitcoin and then they get a playbook from michael saylor from michael strategy how he did it and those other ceos can just copy paste they can just see what michael did and then copy his moves and do the same moves and repeat those moves for their company so yes i think there will be a huge amount of money flowing into this industry now because 1400 companies just do the calculations if on the 1400 only 700 uh, think about it and of those 700 only 350 decide to do it and of those 350 only 175 in the end really invest like say 100k or 200k in bitcoin then you get the amount of 175 times 200k just do the calculations how many millions or billions are going to flow extra into the market because of those two events today and tomorrow i think it's going to be huge i think it's going to be micro strategy huge and micro strategy huge is they already own 71,000 bitcoins they bought those bitcoins in total for 1 billion us dollar and those bitcoins now have a value of 2.5 billion us dollar so micro strategy did good and i think that this is exactly what all these ceos will see during this bitcoin bootcamp that they will be receiving today and tomorrow really positive 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 news Damn, shit, that could have been a train, you know? I heard something. Well, it was not a train, I'm still alive. <laughs> and let's get a little bit more bullish because if you want to earn Bitcoins, yes, you go to, not to Ibiza, not we are going to Ibiza, we are going to Miami because the mayor of Miami, I think his name is Frances Suarez, sounds like a football player but he's the mayor suarez said the city of miami we should be paying salaries to our employees also in bitcoin so when miami is going to pay salaries in bitcoin man man that is like huge adoption this means people will receive bitcoin for the work they do and this is a governmental job for the city of miami how much more bullish do i need to get bam and then one more short news because I need to keep it below 12 minutes and I'm 
think I'm running out of time. There is this new evolution. I already talked about it a few years ago on one of the television shows that I said in the future, you won't be needing a bank loan to buy a house. And people started laughing at me. Ah, ha, ha, Didi, you're a crazy fool, long haired dude, go to the beach. And I told them the blockchain and the crypto industry will make it possible that we will surpass the banks when we need a house. We will create something on the blockchain that I say, I want to buy this house at 300K and that then 10 people all over the world say, all right, we would do a micro loan to Diddy of 30K, 10 times 30K is 300K. I buy the house with those 300K and I pay this monthly rental fee, monthly interest to these people that gave me, the, that gave me these micro loans. That is what I said. And that is also what I wrote in my book two or three years ago. And then people were really laughing. And now it's becoming the truth. It was now a guy and he shared his whole plan that did this. And now this guy used his Bitcoin and his Ethereum to stake them on a DeFi uh, application. And by staking them, he staked, a, he staked around $1 million worth of Bitcoin and Ethereum. He received a loan of 500,000 US dollar uh, in dollars <laughs> and then he used those 500,000 US dollar to pay off his mortgage so he got rid of the debt at the bank he's the owner of the house he needs to pay his debt now to this DeFi platform I think the interest is about six percent but because he is staking one million dollar worth of Bitcoin and Ethereum he's also getting rewards so the interest of six percent is maybe only three percent and at the end he's still hodling his bitcoins he's monetizing his house by hodling his bitcoins paying off the debt of the bank and now run and now and now riding this bull run to 100k then with the profit he will be making because Bitcoin goes to 100k because Ethereum will go to 5k he will exchange those Bitcoins and Ethereum again to dollars pay back the loan on the DeFi platform and step out this game with a house that is mortgage free and with the profits that he made because of the run in Bitcoin Ethereum. This is going to happen more and more and more. Yes, I talk quickly because I want to keep it below 12 minutes. And that was the end of the video. I hope you really enjoyed this short video. If you did enjoy the video, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment because I love to respond to your comments. Yes, a lot of energy because I needed to put some energy into the market a little bit more so we can push bitcoin to fill 40k 50k and 100k <laughs> thanks for watching guys always remember to zoom out in bitcoin and to zoom in at life try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life should be about and my dgi should understand that it needs to top up their performance a little bit more light please thanks for watching guys and hopefully see you tomorrow again bye